Thank you. Thank you, Tini. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for your help in the primary. Largely due to your help and everybody else in the county, but I'm, I'm still standing very, very strongly. Um, so thank you for your, for your support. And um, I won the primary with 70% of, of the Democratic vote. Wow. It's very, very exciting. My father, of course, said, what about the other 30%? I said, I'll get them, I'll get them in November. <laughs> and in November, I'll get the independents and I'll get all the same Republicans as well. So that's, that's my mission. Um, I, like my, my county-wide slate mates who are hoping to make history by being the first Democrat in the county council, um, I am hoping to be the first elected Democrat on the Court of Common Pleas, arguing that there's never been an elected Democrat, but I will be the first. And I believe that I am a better candidate than my opponent, who is a long-standing member of the Delaware County community um, and a career politician who, like many Republicans, I believe, um, thinks that it is sort of an entitlement to ascend to the judgeship. Um, he was recently interviewed uh, about his candidacy, and uh, he actually said you know, if there were no uh, term limits, oh, he's currently okay. the district attorney, if there were no term limits, he would be DA forever. Well, gee, if I read that, that means he really doesn't want to be a judge. He would rather do what he's doing now. Um, and then he went on to say, but I see it as a natural progression. I don't see it as a natural progression to go from political office to political office to DA's office to then ascend to the throne of you know, judicial retirement. Because why is that? Judges do real work. They do real work every day. They should be experienced. They should have the background, significant background, that candidly I think I have. 20 years as a practicing lawyer in town, a litigator handling all sorts of different types of litigation. I have actual judicial experience. Um, I'm an arbitrator for the American Arbitration Association. For the last seven years, I've been deciding disputes. Parties choose me to have hearings, to uh, make legal findings, factual findings, and issue awards. I have that. My opponent does not. I have actual experience being impartial. They should be experienced, impartial, and independent. All judicial, all judicial candidates will tell you, oh, I, I'm going to be a fair judge. Well, I hope so. I know I'm going to be fair because I am a fair judge every time I get a new case. I swear enough to do that. Um, and then the last thing is independent. And I don't mean the Democrat, Republican, independent. I mean independent with a little I. I mean independent. I am not beholden to any particular constituency. Like I, my opponent, I believe, is as a career politician here in the county. He's been endorsed by Fraternal Order of Police, uh, Chief Police Association. Um, I, I just. I'm, I've lived here for 17 years. I live in Upper Providence with my husband and two children. Uh, before that, I've lived all over the country and, and the world, in fact. My, my father was in the military. I'm an army brat. And I've gotten a lot of exposure to a lot of different you know, areas, ideas, impacts. And that, I think, makes me independent from a little eye, very open-minded. And I think that's what judges should be. What exactly is the point? So the Court of Common Pleas is the entry-level court um, in the state court system. They have any kind of dispute, any civil dispute, any criminal dispute starts in the Court of Common Pleas, um, and you know, and then it goes on. And there are different levels of court after the Common Pleas Court. There's Superior Court, and then there's the State Supreme Court. Just like in the federal system, you have the district level, you have the appeals court, and then you have the Supreme Court, which Jeannie was nicely trying to elevate me to already. <laughs> but my mission is to be the first elected Democrat here in this county to serve the people of this county the same way as I served private parties for the last seven years as, as, a, as, a, as a judicial, it's not really, it's a judicial, judicial officer, but it's a private judge. And I'm really looking forward to, to doing that, to having it that. It's really exciting to, to be out. I was in different parts of the county yesterday. I think all of us are constantly out and about at different meetings. And as Brian and Kevin mentioned, the energy, the number of volunteers who are out, um, out and about, really terrific. I think we can do this. This is our year, as we keep saying. And, and I, think it, I think it's real, right? Um, so thank you. Thank you all for your support. And